welcome back all of you to the next session in the last video we have seen the terms associated with internet isn't it now in this video i'll discuss the basic requirements to get an internet connection okay now as we all know to get internet connection we need certain devices okay so we can say that we need some hardware as well as software to get connected to internet clear as you all know that the physical parts of the computer which can be seen and touched they are known as hardware isn't it and the set of instructions which helps us to do the work is known as software okay so to get connected to internet we need hardware as well as software so let's begin the first device okay which we need to get connected to the internet is modem okay the full form of modem is modulator demodulator clear now this is the device which helps us to get connected to the internet how by transferring the signals that is it converts the digital signal to analog signal and analog signal to digital signal by the to and fro movement of the signals the computer gets connected to the internet clear now the modem they are of three types okay the first type of modem is known as external modem okay now as from the name only you can make it out external external means it is present outside the computer it is located outside the computer okay and it is just like a small box this small box it is connected to the cpu through usb port clear so in external modem what happens the device is connected to the computer through usb port clear the second type of modem is known as internal modem now as internal or uh, internal modem means this device is present inside the computer so this internal modem is pre installed in the computer at the time of manufacture okay the third type of modem is known as pc card modem now pc card modem it is the size of a credit card okay and this is mainly used in portable computers so this modem is the first device which is required to get connected to internet clear now the second requirement is an internet connection and how can we get this internet connection through isp that is internet service provider in the last video only i explained what is the function of this isp yes or no so it is the company which helps to get access to internet in exchange for a fee yes so for getting internet connection what we need we need a service provider such as jio airtel bsnl anything okay without this you cannot get yourself or your computer connected to the internet clear the third requirement is the telephone line clear now actually it is the medium clear 
which helps in the data transmission clear and this uh, this medium is connected to the isp got it so this is the basic requirement without this you cannot get connected to internet now it may be wired also or it may be wireless means the data can be transferred through air also got it so to get an internet connection we need a medium which can transfer the data from one, from your computer to the service provider okay then the next one is web browser web browser it is the software okay which helps us to get connected to the internet and get all the information present on www on the world wide web okay so the very commonly used web browser is the google chrome yes so to get connected to the internet what we need we need a web browser without a web browser you cannot or it is not possible to get connected to the internet follow so what are the requirements the first one is the modem clear where it is the device which helps us to which helps the computer to get connected to internet how by exchanging or by transferring the signals okay analog to digital digital to analog in this way second an internet connection means you need a service provider which helps you to get access to internet third telephone line that means you need a medium through which your data can be transferred and last one is the web browser means the software which helps you to get connected to the internet follow okay so children here we have come means finish this topic i hope so this part is very clear now in the last video okay in the next video we will deal with the last part of the chapter that is we will see the different parts of web browser of google chrome okay thank you